How is it going everybody? You're watching Denable Tech and today I'm going to give you the best tips and tricks to save a ton of battery life here on your MacBook, okay? I'm going to try to make this video as democratic as possible, meaning that all the tips I'm going to show you right now will work for pretty much every single MacBook version or model you may have, not only for the new ones, okay? So this, this is going to be pretty cool. So uh, first thing I want to tell you is avoid using Chrome, okay? Chrome we have right here. Uh, pretty much because Chrome is extremely heavy, it drains a lot of your battery life, it uses a lot of your RAM, and just pretty much based on the way Chrome was built to be fast and fast and fast means it takes a ton of your battery. It just drains it. It's absurd. Uh, always make sure to go ahead and prefer to use Safari. Safari is much more optimized for your Mac and of course uh, is more efficient and it will drain much less of your battery. So this is already tip number one, avoid using Chrome. Another tip that I really like is if you go here to your menu bar at the top, okay, and then you tap on the battery icon, tap here and you're going to see using significant energy. This is very, very crucial. This is very, very important. Uh, always check what applications, what software is actually using a significant energy, meaning it's draining your battery life. As you guys can see here, guess who's here? Google Chrome. So um, I have Safari opened, I have uh, Chrome opened, I have Final Cut Pro opened, and I even have Quite QuickTime opened as well for the microphone, but uh, the only one who's actually using a significant amount of energy is Chrome. Okay, so go ahead here and just go ahead and quit. So go here, quit, and you're good to go. Just quit the browser and that's it. Uh, in this case, the browser, but but any software for that matter that's actually using a ton of your, of your energy and sometimes you don't even need it to, okay? This is super, super important. Since we're here talking about this battery widget right here at the top, click on it again and make sure to go ahead and show percentage, okay? So you can see, for example, I have 86% of battery life remaining. Uh, if your computer is a little bit older, it may not show on this menu, so go ahead and open Energy Saver Preferences and then click here to show battery status in menu bar. Uh, I always recommend you to do that because sometimes you're just not really paying attention and if you don't have the percentage here it's very very easy to get distracted and then out of the sudden your MacBook is out of juice now let's dive in a little bit more to our system preferences so click on system preferences and then we're gonna need to enable dark mode this is pretty much the only feature that uh, you can only enable if you have Mojave or later but uh, pretty much all MacBooks that are running well right now are compatible with Mojave. But anyways, if you have an older, really, really old Mac, MacBook, then maybe this is not for you. But this is this will work for pretty much everybody who's watching this video. Okay, so um, go ahead here and go to General. And then uh, right there at the top, you're going to see Appearance and you're going to see Light dark and auto so uh, I recommend that you switch to dark because f after you select dark as you guys can see all the menus and windows and pretty much everything on your computer is gonna change to, to this dark theme and with this it also helps a lot to preserve uh, your battery life because it is not as bright so because it's so much darker there's much less light uh, being produced by the display and then of course you're gonna have a much better battery life you can also select auto so then it's gonna be for example uh, dark by uh, light by day and dark at night so it's gonna follow the sunset and sunrise but I recommend you to go ahead and go full dark mode if you really need to save battery life but before we continue, I'd like to talk about the sponsor of this video, which is Clean My Mac X, which I'm pretty sure you're familiar with since Clean My Mac is the best Mac cleaning tool on the market right now. So I'd like to show you very quickly some of the key features of Clean My Mac and this new version, okay? So uh, just right off the bat, as soon as you open it up, you have this feature to just go ahead and scan, okay? And it's gonna pretty much automatically do all the important stuff in a few seconds. So in about a few seconds, you're gonna see uh, options to clean up your hard drive, so to remove unneeded junk, 
protection so if you have potential threats and even speed to actually increase your system speed so as you guys can see i can just right right now very easily remove 4.8 gigs of unnecessary junk uh thankfully i have no threats here on my computer and i can do three tasks to help uh, improve my performance very nice and of course I can click here and see exactly what those tasks and things are of course I can see them separately right here on this uh, side menu right here so cleanup protection applications and then of course I can just go ahead and hit run and it'll do automatically amazing I also love this widget right here in the menu bar which you can see your storage your RAM memory your battery your trash CPU it can even test out your internet connection and your protection in real time this widget is so cool to be able to look at all those things just in a glance again guys this is a very very quick overview there are so many many more awesome features in clean my Mac X of course I'm gonna have a link in the description with a special offer so just go ahead click on the link and you're gonna have a special offer to download and install clean my mac x on your mac right now now back to my video now let's get back to our first screen here under system preferences and then i want you to go to energy saver and of course this is extremely important we have to play with a little bit of those things here because this is going to help you out a lot so first of all put hard dry hard disks to sleep when possible please do that uh, don't worry this will not mess with any rendering or background work that you're doing it will only put the hard disk to sleep if really you're not using it so it will save battery life only when it needs to when it can right uh, second option slightly dim the display while on battery power please do that so tap here as you guys can see it just dimmed the display because of course I'm not connected to a power uh, support uh, to a power outlet or anything so it just automatically dimmed my display I'm just gonna disable here because of the video uh, because it's gonna look better on the video all right but please enable that uh, and then uh, enable power nap while on battery power let's have a look at this so while sleeping your Mac can per periodically check for new email calendar and other iCloud updates if you want to preserve your battery life you want to leave this off okay you want to completely leave it off because while it is sleeping it will actually be sleeping if you turn it on while sleeping it will be checking for stuff meaning that it will use your battery so if you want to save your battery life leave it unchecked okay so check check and uncheck okay very important and obviously one of the most important things turn display off after uh, I always recommend uh, that you go ahead and slide this back down to just a couple minutes so like two to three minutes five minutes stops okay uh, wh what this will do pretty much is um, if you're not using the computer if you're not playing with the mouse or the trackpad or like uh, the keys or anything if the computer is completely not doing anything it will just automatically put the display to sleep so then it doesn't use your battery life so this is very good because again um, if you're not playing with your computer for three minutes you're pretty much not using it so then uh, it makes complete sense to just to just turn off the display again it is just the display it won't mess with any of your background activities that you're doing on the computer okay so please make sure to go ahead and leave it for just a couple minutes and since we're talking about display of course we have to talk about the obvious thing here brightness okay brightness is one of the things that drain your battery life the most because brightness uh take a look at the size of this display this is a 13 inch macbook pro it could be a 15 inch a 16 inch so the display is extremely relevant to your battery life so the bigger the display of course uh the more battery it will actually use uh and again since this is a big display it makes a huge difference so Pretty much the only thing I have to tell you is put the display down as much as you can, like tune it down. Uh, don't use it all the way up as I'm using here. Of course, I don't use it like that. I'm just using it like this because of the video, but try to leave it halfway. If you're using it in a not very lit environment, uh, uh, lower than halfway, this will truly change uh, your battery life. And last but not least, I have two 
very important things under system preferences again, which is number one, notifications. So let's open notifications here very quickly. And same story with iPhone. Uh, if you follow me on this channel, you know that I have quite a lot of series of how to save battery life on your iPhone. Uh, they're pretty successful. And one of the most important things that I always say is notifications notifications use so much of your battery because it means your computer is constantly your device as a general is constantly looking for new information fetching new information uh, using your internet and so on and so on so go ahead here and go one by one on those applications right here and deselect the ones that you don't need if you don't need notifications from like uh, final cut pro for example disable them and so on and so on and so on here's google chrome again off <laughs> so then go ahead and disable notifications these allow notifications for pretty much everything that you can right and then the last thing uh which again is something that i always talk about when i'm talking about saving battery life on your iphone is under security and privacy here tap on that and then under uh, you're gonna see this screen so go back to privacy right here the last one and it's gonna be obviously location services so click on the padlock here to unlock it put your touch ID your password whatever uh, depending on your computer and then go ahead and you don't need to disable no uh, location services altogether only if you want to but uh, if you don't want to disable the whole thing you can go one by one and disable uh, location services for those specific softwares or apps because again you don't need every single app that you have uh, checking your location constantly and location uh location services are one of the things that actually drain your battery life the most is incredible the amount of battery life it drains location services is something that you really really need to consider disabling okay on specific apps of course yeah so that's pretty much it guys this is my first video on how to save a ton of battery life on your macbook so that's pretty much it hope you like it stay tuned and i'll see you guys in a few days bye bye